Okay, um, so what's up guys? So this is totally unplanned and I just thought um, I should record this because a few persons might learn one or two things from this. So I'm trying to create a template for a template design for the videos for Webboss and I've been enjoying the process so far. So I just thought to record this if you might learn one or two things from this. So so let, let me show you the progress so far. So I'm using Figma for design to do the design. Uh, I'm using Figma to do the design. So this is what the landing screen is supposed to look like. So you see there's the web boss logo up here, then there is the website. So after the initial intro of oh hey guys, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? The next thing I want to have is the subscribe, like, and the comment stuff. So that's what I'm presently working on. And right now I was just working with the gestures and I just realized that my right hand does not actually go in the right direction for me to be able to do that i actually have to yes i have to do this so subscribe comment like <laughs> and whatsoever yeah that kind of, something like this okay yeah so i so i guess i'll just use this instead yeah i'll just use this instead then um yeah so, like yeah then this guy okay yeah then this guy this guy just goes like this this guy like this, this guy like this, then this this other guy, this guy too, like this. Okay, cool. So, so I'm using OBS Studio for my recordings. So I have subscribe. So and I'm actually checking out one of the old uh, web boss videos here. Yeah? That's how I got to um, see the icons I used and all of those things. So um so so the next thing is to get the next set of icons so uh so let me use the noun projects let me use the noun projects why that is loading okay so I, I actually tend to do a lot of stuff together at the same time so like so uh so let's see comments let's see what if there is an option for comments something similar to what we had before on there so uh, I think I will just go with this I think I'll just go with this so I'm actually hoping that this video will not last uh, more than <laughs> more than 30 seconds or so uh, I said 30 seconds like 30 minutes and hour so let me log in with Facebook here into the non project so if you don't know what the non project is it's an open source uh, platform for you to get access to icons for free so <clears throat> so i'll do this get this icon basic download continue then svg <coughs> so comments so i'll come over here showing folder come over here to web browse videos then um then now comments i'll move it here so a tip about working with um svg icons in figma that you do not pay for is if you look at the icon here let me zoom into it hopefully you'll be able to see it yeah so uh let me, okay yeah so if you look at the left hand side here this guy is actually in a frame to bring out the icon in itself just just click on this probably the group or something cut it then i delete that's what i usually do delete this and paste it here so i can come over here now and um and of course, Figma has this smart uh, alignment, so it's the center I want to be aligned to that code. So then, um, of course, just use the eyedropper tool to get the icon for that. Subscribe. So I think liking should come before commenting. Like, so comments, but, but at least I'll just do this for now. Comments, then um, like. Oh, so I'll just come over here thumbs up thumbs up so let me see something that looks good so I think I'm fine with this and you can actually open like two tabs but I, I, I just like to work like do stuff simultaneously at times but, I guess for the sake of this video, I will just do things concurrently. Comment, like, subscribe. Uh, so, okay. So this guy should be share, share. 
Okay, yeah, perfect. All right, let me see what the YouTube share icon looks like. Okay, share, yeah. So, works. Share. Basic download. SVG. Share. So, one of the reasons I'm actually uh, I'm actually doing this is because OBS Studio is actually a fantastic software. So what that means is the size of this my uh, of this my frame you are seeing is actually kind of um, of this of me showing this frame. Even if I close the software, anytime I open it up, this is exactly the same size and the position it gives. So what all that means is once I create this template in Figma, anytime I need to record, I just need to probably duplicate and just use. So so it it really makes it really makes life easy. So let me paste this guy okay it's t okay yeah it's outside of there let me paste this guy here also so um like also then i'll delete the frames because i don't need them so so this guy is actually supposed to be here so so uh yeah of course i don't know how effective this approach is I, in fact i don't think I've seen this approach anywhere else. Yeah, so well, I think I, I kind of like it. So I'm going to use it. Yeah, so yeah, awesome. Uh, so. Like. <coughs> comment uh, so apparently this is looking unbalanced so uh, so if I come here and I try to let me see what this looks like I have to do full screen here so this this, this is let, let me remove this guy this is feeling unbalanced like there seems to be so much space at the top and little space below so so that, that means that I, I need to make some adjustments obviously so so I have to simply do this. So I think here's what I would do. I'd create a rectangle here. I'd create a rectangle here. Yes. Then do this. Then vertically align this to that rectangle. You see that? So I'll do the same thing for the for the one here at the base too. Just so that everything it's well lined up and and it looks good so let me group this also yeah so um so i think that that, that, that look, that's better than this guy too so you can actually use these anchors too right oh you can't you can barely even see what i'm doing sorry but i hope you get the gist designers would actually get the gist so um uh, but, uh, but, but, then um yeah bah. then okay this guy does not have any text yet so i guess what guess what i would do is i'll duplicate this guy then vertically align it here then you get the gist very gist you you, you, can, you can't actually see that part but hopefully i'll be able to show you when i'm done <coughs> Yeah. Yo. Shit. So let me show you. So so I, I think things feel a bit more balanced now. So uh, okay, sorry, I keep forgetting. Subscribe, like, share. <laughs> Comment, <laughs> subscribe. Ah, no, subscribe, like, share, subscribe. No, subscribe, like, share. Oh, comments, comment, 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 comment. Subs subscribe, like, comment, and share. Subscribe, like, share. Okay, so so I think this makes sense for me. So I'll just do subscribe first, like, 
share comment perfect so yeah so th those are like so these are like the two um major screens that i would be needing so moving on i can't really i can't really estimate um like the number of screens that i would be needing per video because some videos are very technical such that i need to enter a code editor and what i view and 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 all so so but one thing for sure is after this comment like and share my face is supposed to show again where i talk about a few things before i get into before i get into the main tutorial so then something just popped in my head now that um so um so i think there should be like a thank you there should be like a thank you page or something so we can so let, let, let's design that quickly let me see if i can bring this so that so that you'll be able to see okay yeah so i'll just do thanks you can't even say that thanks let me bring it here so thanks <coughs> so 20 let's do uh um, no let's do like 70 100 that's the one trying to say okay thanks for thanks for for watching so i'll i'll actually break this to two lines then do a left alignment okay that does not look good actually so i think here's what i'll do uh, instead of doing web boss then i'll simply come here and say uh thanks for watching thanks for watching yeah So a little thank you page i might use this i might not use it so that nobody will castigate me if in future videos you do not see me using this guy so thanks for watching so this is what the design is supposed to look like then i would simply just change these colors to this lemon color of the brand yeah and that's it really so uh so let's come over here and see what it looks like So just imagine this. Hey guys, thank you for watching this video. Okay, so I guess I should just I, I, I guess I should just do an outro with this. So thanks for watching this video. Thank you for taking the time out to watch this video. And of course, do not forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. Yes. <laughs> thank you. 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 You. So I can stop recording now.